Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, refresh and inspire. And if you like what I'm doing, if it's helpful to your studies, please don't forget to subscribe. Determine the absolute maximum shear in an 18 meter long simply supported beam due to the series of four moving concentrated loads shown below. So here is the given figure. The absolute maximum shear is either the reaction at A or a reaction at B. So let's consider first reaction at A. Let's uh, assume that the four concentrated loads loads move from right to left so we move the loads past A so that the 80 this first 80 kN load will be up to A so that the there is no incoming load so the criterion for shear or for reaction is WH over L minus P1 only so WH over L minus P sub 1, where our P sub 1 would be 40 because we move all these loads where this first 80 kN load will be over A. That is P1 and H is 4.5, L is 18. So let's evaluate W. W would be the loads remaining on the span and that is 80 plus 80 plus 20 because this 80 kN load will be over A and the 40 kN load will be over the ground, the road. So 80 plus 80, 160 plus 20, 180. So equals 180 times H 4.5 over 18 minus P1 which is 40. The sign is positive so it is still increasing. Next we position the 80, this second 80 kN load over A. So our P1 is 80, our H is 3, and our W would only be 80 plus 20, the two loads remaining on the span. So delta VR equals 80 plus 20 times 3 over 18 minus 80. And this time it is negative. So pre preceding position of loads give the maximum reaction at A and that is the preceding position was this 80 kN load is over A. So let's do it. So that's the positioning of the load that gives maximum reaction at A. So take note that the 40 kN load is over the ground so it has nothing to do with the reaction at A. So let's compute reaction at A by taking moments about B equals zero by static. So RA times 18 equals 80 times 18 plus 80 times 15 plus 20 times 12. So this is 12. So RA is equal to 160 kilonewtons. Likewise, there is a possibility that it is RB that is maximum and that's the absolute maximum shear. This time we move the loads from left to right. So first we move all the loads so that this 80 kN load will be over B and the 20 kN load passes B that, that will be on the ground. This will be our P1. Our H is 3 and our W because all these loads will be on this one 80 plus 80 plus 40 or 200 so delta VR is 80 plus 80 plus 40 times HT over 18 minus 20 the sign is positive so next we move 80 this 80 here over B so our P1 is this 80 here our H is 3 and our W would be, since these are the two loads that remain on the span, our W is 80 plus 40. So 
So delta VR is 80 plus 40 times 3 over 18 minus 80. And this time, it is negative. Therefore, receding position of the loads give maximum reaction at P. That is, this 80 kN load will be over B and this 80 and 40 on the span as shown in the figure. So that should be the positioning of the load so that RB is maximum. So we sum up moments about A equals 0 and take note that 20 is not included, it is on the ground. So R sub B times 18. So this is 10.5, 18 minus 3 minus 4.5, so 10.5. So RB times 18 equals 80 times 18 plus 80 times 18 minus 3 is 15. So 80 times 15 minus 4.5 is 10.5. So plus 40 times 10.5. R sub B therefore is equal to 170 kN since this is greater than 160. This is the absolute maximum shear. So absolute maximum shear is 170 kN.